due to the nature of this episode, I'm wearing a very appropriate shirt right now. That being said, I should make this maybe like a make a make, make this a your average horror nights title sequence. Uh, yeah, just because it's a horror theme, why not? I like that plan. Good job, Aaron. Now let's get to the video. Hello everyone, welcome to YAN. I am your host, Mr. A.A. Ron, and today we're we're back with another episode, exciting episode, of Riverdale's Season 7, Episode 5, Tales in a in a Jugular Vein. Uh, last week, uh, despite my best efforts, I really did try to upload uh, my reaction to last week's episode, uh something in marriage love and marriage or whatever the episode was called uh and i filmed it and the it just it stopped recording and i was having a bunch of glitches and then i tried to re-record it and i was having audio issues so i'm sorry that video is just not gonna be possible to upload but we're gonna keep trudging away with episode five uh last week uh, Kevin and Betty have officially called it quits. Uh, at least I think that happened last week or the week before. I'm not, I'm, I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, Archie and, and Cheryl, I almost said Archie and Betty. All right, well, I'll get to that. But Archie and Cheryl, uh, made plans to run away together and that never happened. Duh. Um, and then, uh, and so that has lead, led to Archie once again rekindling feelings for Betty. Uh, I'll let you guys come after me, whatever, I don't care. Um, and then last but not least, uh, we have a a uh, kinship of spirits in the forms of Jughead and Veronica getting close, so close that their lips touched. And you know what? Doesn't bother me. Um, do I think it's weird? Yeah, but also, we just haven't seen them like that since season two. You know, in season three, we had uh, that brief uh, thing with Cole Sprouse and Cam Camila Mendez uh, when they were playing, you know, Hermione and, and FP. But Jack and Veronica haven't really had that sort of moment uh, since season two when they were when they kissed just to get back at Betty and Archie. So, yeah, um, that that's my terrible recap. And let's get on with the episode. Ethel Muggs been talking much since she's been with the sisters. Oh, yeah, and Ethel went to the Sisters of Choir of Mercy because Betty's mom is a terrible person. Do? What about a narrator that's actually a witchy lunch lady or a creepy janitor? How about, like, a guy who murdered his son and then we made an entire season about who killed the son? Or a second season where one of the teenagers becomes the leader of a biker gang. <laughs> or even the third season where there's like a killer board game. <laughs> well, well, well. If it is not oh. a problem, child. You're looking for a little mischief and negative. I was not expecting this. Well, maybe I can be of some assistance. Is Riverdale doing Tales of the Crypt Keeper right now? This is so Tales from the Crypt Keeper. He just starts singing. <laughs> Gotta get you, get your head in the game. Oh, poor kid. Morbidly claustrophobic. This is very disturbing. Oh, he's he's fine. <laughs> you can just perfectly arrange that? <laughs> That's a great title sequence. Well, you know the moral of the story. Be good at basketball. Juggykins? I'm sorry, Juggykins? <laughs> Riverdale's always so good at these episodes. Nana! Nana Blossom! 
Archie kills me with this southern accent. <laughs> Inappropriate touching. Oh, this is great. <laughs> yes, she's ravenous for it. Can't keep her hands to herself. Archie's gonna put a sign on the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not seeing a downside right now. Granddaughter? <laughs> KJ, that face! That face is gonna keep me up at night. Oh god. No, keep it rolling! Ah, whatever. I gave you a chance to lock that door and be a good boy. And now you're almost certainly infected as well. Clap, clap, That's clap, clap, nice. clap. We're going to be together forever and ever. Till death do us part. <laughs> that was a good one too. God created high school so there'd be a place where boys could chase girls and vice versa. He sent me to the wrong high school, man, because <laughs> that certainly did not happen to me. <laughs> the ponytail is back! The sweater set waiting for better yet. Again, what, like, in what universe is Betty Blant? Whoa! Like this feels like it was shot very Wes Anderson like. <laughs> She's a cool cookie now, isn't she, Pop? What do you mean now? That he's always been a peach. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> he just slaps him. <laughs> Our, KJ's not acting. Someone get some help. Betty's having some kind of fit. Someone call the hospital. Dr. Colonel Jr.? Yay, Dr. Colonel Jr. <laughs> This poor girl just wanted to be noticed, man. She didn't deserve that. Should he go for A, the girl next door? Oh, they're or doing B, this now. The rich starlit socialite. But in a rare stroke of mad genius. Both. She chose C, both of the above. So on Monday's one. I choose Betty. Sorry. I choose Betty. <laughs> this isn't even like a a Riverdale story. This is just 2023. Dating in 2023, man. <laughs> Someone needs to take that basketball away from Dilton. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sounds like someone's been playing you two for fools. Let's kill him. Because <laughs> I'm taking my mom. You see, it's... First oh like wow! Well played, Archie. <laughs> I hope you guys can understand. Wow. Of course we understand. So sweet and thoughtful. I'm sorry we pressured you. Me too. I never would have. Well, you guys shouldn't have to miss out on Valentine's Day. Anymore. Archie's gonna go with. Archie's gonna go with Cheryl. Invited. Cheryl. Cheryl. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And it's Sunday. So he's gonna die. Let's kill him. <laughs> so I love Betty. She always resorts to murder. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Very, very special day. <laughs> this is so uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm, I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> Could have just exposed them. Everything all right, Archie Kids? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that was really funny. <laughs> Whoever's editing this episode did a bang up job. That? Whatever soap bubble Veronica and I had been in just burst. Tomorrow at school, things would be different. We'd no longer be the Marilyn Monroe and Arthur Miller of Riverdale High. We'd pass each other in the hall, but she'd once again be the beautiful socialite, and I'd be the Melvin who writes comic books.
girls come and go. If your name in print. Now that's a thing that will make people sit up and take notice. Great, Riverdale's giving me advice now. How prophetic Mr. Fieldstone's words would turn out to be. Oh, and they're gonna go after him now. And suddenly the plot thickens! So that was today's episode of Riverdale. You know what? I really, really liked it. Oh my gosh. I love when Riverdale does like those extra like tales in between separate, you know, uh, characters. Um, and like they format it in like a really kooky kind of way. Where like Riverdale takes like a specific tone. Like when they did like the Saved by the Bell type of story. Or when they did like the three uh, mystery stories. And now they're really leaning hard into Tales of Tales of the Crypt. Um, and it was really, really well done. Um, Betty... Okay, no, not Betty. Uh, yeah, no. Betty, <laughs> Betty didn't deserve what she got in hers. I'm, I'm still adamant about that. She didn't deserve that. Girl just wanted to be noticed. Uh, Dilton, however, that was... Yeesh. I, I, it's, it's funny, because as much as a lot of these stories were very predictable in terms of how they were going to go... Um, it still like sucks uh, to see the way, it, especially Dilton's, because Dilton's felt very real to me, which I'm glad they did that one first. Um, as for uh, Jughead and Veronica, too bad, so sad. <laughs> that was it for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed watching. If you like what you saw, please like, subscribe to YN, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye. Peace. Catch me if I fall.